We have been given the assignment of guerrilla marketing in the visual communications program here at Farmingdale State College. This is a story of ingenuity, persistence, and failure. This is the sound. Yeah. Now, how'd you come up with the idea of the thumbtack mural? Just random. Just random. Okay. Just popped in your head. Yeah. I feel you. I don't know, Nick. Do you feel Eddie? Oh, I feel Eddie. Viscom major at Farmingdale, and I edit videos for fun. So, my name is Julius Capio, and I am a graphic designer slash creator. UXC by Designers. My name is Patrick Pierre, and I am also a graphic designer slash creator director slash creator slash So we decided to go with the mural made out of thumbtacks. One close up looks like a scrambled mess, but when pulled back creates an image through the process of optical blending, similar to the Impressionist, or for example, the pixel art of the early 90s. It's a pretty esoteric question. Uh, I feel like graphic design is the, um, what do you call this, it is the corporate version of art, like advertising, you know, yeah, that's, what I, that's how I feel that, yeah, what about me? Well, my idea of graphic design is more so the ability to communicate visual images to people, per se, and being able to communicate anything, whether it be from commercial, advertising, and or just your basic uh, necessity to express yourself through art. Uh, I feel like that's how graphic design kind of pertains to it. So we decided to go with the works of three well-known artists. Basil Wolverton, Keith Haring, and some guy that drew a chicken in a suit one time whose name escapes me at the moment. So in the planning process of this, we decided that we we're going to need 8,000 plus thumbtacks, <laughs> which is a lot. And they all need to be different colors. So we came up with the idea that we were just going to buy clear thumbtacks and spray paint them to create all the different colors. Uh, graphic design is a lot of different stuff, honestly. I would probably say that, like, uh, it's, it's anything that you... It's anything that is advertised towards you, you know. Graphic design is just you. It's why'd you give me such an open-ended question anyway? It took well over two hours to place all the thumbtacks into a board in order to have people take them and put them into another board. Are doing it for free. I didn't know it was a job career when I was doing it. I was doing uh, the olden days YouTube backgrounds and getting paid for that for fun. And then I realized, oh, you can make money from this? And it all turned out into a spiraling career, which we are here now. Um, it started with animation, honestly. Uh, I remember watching cartoons when I was younger and just, you know, falling in love immediately. You know, I thought that was the most awesome thing ever, you know, watching stuff like Dragon Ball and all the old cartoons and stuff like that. And then as a result, it ended up uh, getting me interested in a bunch of different forms, like um, just general advertising. There's a lot of, there, there was a lot of different stuff that, uh, that brought me towards that conclusion. 
No. For me, at least, um, it started 2012 when I was failing all my classes in Suffolk. And I was forced to switch from liberal arts and had to choose what I wanted to do. So I had to look inside of me and like, what do I really like to do? And that was art. Because I remember growing up, uh, I used to draw a lot. I drew apples, you know, fruits, whatever, still life. And I remembered my art teacher. He asked me if he could take it, he could keep it. And that's what clicked for me. So I chose the art field. I am poking thumbtacks into a piece of foam core with the hopes that people will take them out of the foam core just to put them into another piece of foam core. Now why, you might ask? Well, because we're just that good. Yeah, why are we that good? I don't know, why don't you ask Eddie over there, working away. How many thumbtacks you got so far, Eddie? Eddie, why are we so good? <laughs> Right. That's our creative director right there. Oh, oh, he's he's getting up. <laughs> Making moves. <laughs> now we gotta do this, right? Well, Nick, what do you think of our boss Eddie here? I don't like to talk about the management. <laughs> you never know. I look it up. I'm just trying to have a good time. started at Briarcliff. Uh, Briarcliff started closing in 2016 and I was just like, ah, I got to jump ship now. And uh, as a result, I ended up applying here, took an art test. It was uh, My heart felt like it was going to stop 90% of the time because I was so nervous of if I was actually going to pass this art test or not. But then the entire room passed the art test. There was a room full of people. So uh, I got lucky in that regard, for sure. And uh, that's how I ended up here. I hated the night classes at first. Yes. I thought that the night classes were absolutely miserable initially. But uh, eventually I, uh, I got more suited towards the new schedule. I got suited towards the new schedule and I started to like it a lot more. And now I prefer night classes more than day classes. Tends to be more driven people in that time frame. Comfortable and expensive. Yeah, it's convenient. <laughs> convenient, that'd be the word for it, yeah. But I would have went to, you know, obviously FIT, SVA. SVA New Pots. Yeah, New Pots, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Pots, pots have been built, right? Yeah. <laughs> and Nick is violently applying rubber cement now. Grace, technique. See. Now, can you explain why you're putting rubber cement on there? Because you don't want to. Can you explain like why actually, so we can make this into like a mini duck? No. Okay. Can you explain the process of dry mounting? Oh, she was a crack baby? You don't know what a crack baby is? What, crack baby? It's when you're born and your mom's on crack, so you're addicted to crack as a fetus. That's awful. Question. And then they asked, What is graphic design? If they said yes, so they're interested in art, I'd say, 
Well, God's Son is all around you. Uh, it's everything you read, it's everything you look at, it's everything you use to purchase, buy, and or communicate to everybody else. And I try to track from there and go further into detail if you're interested. Well, I guess I'm assuming if they do like art, and I feel like all of us were born as a creative person. You know, we drew growing up. Like, you know, uh, my first memory was go- like drawing, just expressing myself. So if, I feel like my message is that if you want to get into the creative field, the visual communication, I feel like you would need to uh, block out all the the outside noise of saying that you can't make it in this field or like you there's no potential in this field. Like you would have to be a doctor, a lawyer, a whatever, a nurse. And I think that's a bunch of lie because you know, there's a lot of potential in this field. You could be your own business. No. Yeah. Uh, I would, I would just take the first year somewhere else because anybody that I know, I didn't take the first two years here. I took the first two years. I got my associates at Briarcliff. And then uh, past that point, it was like, I got my associates at Briarcliff and then I transferred here and lost a year due to transferring credits and whatnot. And then after that, I, uh, I, I came here, so I didn't have to really experience any first year classes, but from what I've heard from literally everybody that came here, the first year was absolutely miserable and everybody seemed to hate it. I don't know why. We had three targets, one of the dorms, Conklin Hall, and the campus center. So Nick, how do you feel nice right now? Two, three, four, five. What about you, Eddie? I hate John Brown. As a creator, I think uh, most of us feel like we don't really need a degree to really jump into the field. I'd say from a lot of professional perspectives, after reading online and reading some books and like that, a lot of people just kind of just went for it and strived for it and did their best, eat, sleep, and breathe it. It's kind of like the mentality I use. But for me, the degree and why I'm here, per se, is, not, is more so of a safety net. So I do want to jump into the field, which I'm in it now. But I'd rather that 10 years down the line, I have credibility for it. And I can also push up to a master's and go into different lines of work, per se. So as well as dabbling and, you know, hustling, going for like different type of uh, artistic pursuits, like videography, like we both love cinematography, photography. Uh, I feel like having that line for graphic design, you can always sleep on that. And as well as push forward to other as- uh, artistic aspects of your life that, you know, pursue. So Nick is uh, taking the uh, stickies out of the package. Yeah, same for me. Like I feel like graphic design is a good base to fall back on if you know, like something like video fails or photography fails. But I feel like it wouldn't for me at least because very passionate about those things that I invest my money on, you know, like camera. So for me, at least when I graduate, I want to be my own travel. I'll definitely say that the professors are probably the strongest suit. Uh, This is something that is completely personalized towards me and experience wise, you know, my experience here, but the students are a huge improvement over the last place that I went to. I will say that at at, uh, Briarcliff, the students weren't nearly as driven as the ones that were here. And um, for good reason, honestly, because after this place started closing down, uh, because after uh, Briarcliff started closing down, uh, Mastermaker, Professor Mastermaker, actually put it in a, in really good words. He basically said that this is the last place on Long Island. This is the last place on Long Island to really learn uh, visual communication. Other than that, you would have to go to New York City or something like that. Uh, and you would probably never run into those people around here anyway. But yeah, it's... it's uh, 
It's like the last one, and it's really packing up. There's a lot of people. There's a lot of there's a lot of people here. There's a, there's a number of people in the major. A pretty good number of people in the major right now. I think we took in what 250 first uh, like freshmen this year. There's quite a bit of people. Uh, and honestly, I don't really. Yeah, his first question was, uh, "What what is your definition of graphic design? Yeah. How am I supposed to answer?" That's a very esoteric question. What is graphic design to you? Advertise. I said advertising. Yeah. Despite having gone through all the necessary channels of red tape, the murals in Conklin Hall and the campus center were swiftly taken down. Hours upon hours of plan and, and fingertip shredding work just to be thrown in the trash. Luckily, the one in the dorm still stands at the time of recording of this, but who knows. Because if it's allowed to our ears, it is going to be even louder on the microphone. So don't worry, man. I'm pretty nasty. I'm nasty. <laughs> I suppose the removal and destruction of our work is somewhat of an allegory. Billions of pieces of graphic design are sent through the mail and thrown in the trash in a matter of minutes every day. Advertising is that thing that everyone wants to get away from but nobody can avoid. But just like any good advertising agency would, the ad men will just keep bouncing back. It is our duty as graphic designers to, in a way, brainwash people. The need for constant visual stimuli seems to have become a part of our DNA. Us graphic designers are just here to try to satiate that need. But then I realized that animation was a pretty uh, open-ended thing. And that it was really hard to find uh, a well-paying job. Is that a dog? The funny thing is, like, I'm already kind of working in the career path right now. So it's like the degree is. I'll wait. Yeah. You can let him know. I have a little motivational speech going on. They're talking in the back. You can let him know, bro. He's just zoned out. Production assistant. You could, like, tell him, like, hey, bro, we're making an interview. Just real quick. Since you decided to help. <laughs> Hey, 
you. Shut up. <laughs> I, I think great we're... footage for the video. Yeah? What are your feelings again? I hate John Brock. Yeah, I hate John Brock, too. That guy's a dick. You want some thumbtacks? Yeah, I got a lot.